Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening. Okay, yan, uh, binanggit ko na lahat ha, kasi hindi natin alam kung anong oras kayo mag-aaral o makikinig sa lecture natin. But in any way, okay, uh, we will uh, not uh, discuss the uh, preliminary parts of this course, which is the, uh, the VMGO of the university, including the college. And I'm sure that... Uh, uh, some of your instructors will uh, discuss those, okay? And then for our grading system, I already posted the uh, uh, grading system in our Edmodo class, uh, vir virtual class, okay? Kung alimbawa, uh, you get 93 average in this uh, course, then uh, ano yung magiging uh, equivalent uh, numerical value niya, okay? It was already posted in our Edmodo group. Uh, I mean, yes, group, uh, Edmodo. And then, okay, so I'll be giving uh, activities in this course. Okay, and then, hindi ko alam kung ilan, basta may mga activities. So, may, 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 uh, yung plano ay every week, at least merong isang activity. Okay, so, yun ang dapat yung paghandaan. Okay, so, we will proceed directly with our discussion for chapter 1, okay, and we have here the introduction to computing. So, what is a computer, uh, the uh, basic elements of computer, and then the functions, the parts, yun yung mga pag natin in this chapter, chapter 1, okay? So, what is the relevance of a computer system to your course? Yes, of course, you are taking BSIT. Okay? We all know that you are taking the SIT, so we need to know about computer or the basic elements. Okay, And then before you do any, uh, let's say before you perform any programming or before you program, you need to know uh, uh, the basic information about computer. Paano ka makapag-program kung hindi mo alam kung ano ang computer, kung paan nag-work, uh, nag-function ang computer? So you need to know, or you need, we need to know uh, at least the basic information about the computer. And before you can perform a networking or basic troubleshooting, uh, you need to know the uh, parts of the computer para alam mo kung ano to, ano, ano yan. Okay? So that is the relevance of the topic. Okay. So first, we have here the word computer. A computer comes from the root word compute, meaning to calculate. Okay, so the, 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 the root word for this word is compute. So it's computing. Kapag nagko-compute ka, okay, ang tawag sa'yo computer. Alright, it is an electronic device designed to manipulate data so that useful information can be generated. It is an electronic device, okay? So a computer is a device, an electronic device that is used to manage, uh, convert data from, yes, from data to information so that useful information can be generated. And a computer can perform this four basic functions. The first function of a computer is input, another is processing, then output, and then storage. So what is the first function of the computer, which is input? So input refers to the feeding of raw data or instruction to the CPU of the computer in a machine-readable format refers to the feeding, when we say feeding, inputting or uh, adding instruction to your computer. Okay? Just, just for example, you click a button. Okay? So that is input. You type a word. That is actually feeding of raw data or instruction to the CPU. So what is CPU? So we will tackle that later on. Central processing unit of the computer. Okay? So you are feeding instruction to your computer in a machine readable format so when we uh, we have here the, the word or yes the term machine readable format ibig sabihin niyan yung uh, ini input natin na data yun yung data or format na naiintindihan ng computer your computer does not understand english language your computer does not understand tagalog nor uh, ayangan tuwali ano pa Okay? 
hindi niya naintindihan mga yan. Ang naintindihan lang niya ay only ones and zeros. Okay? One and zero lang. Kaya sinasabi, sinabi nila, computer is dumb. Dumbbell ka no, ti computer. Why? Kasi hindi nga siya nakakaintindi ng English. So, only one and zero. So, your computer uh, uh, process this machine-readable format, yung one and zeros na yan, binary ang tawag natin dyan, ha? Yung one and zero, binary. Now, uh, let's for example, you press letter A on your computer. And then, yung computer... Uh, dinala niya yung ones and zeros. So, may equivalent na ones and zeros yung letter A. Is it small or capital letter? Okay. Dadalhin niya sa computer, CPU, ipaprocess naman ng CPU kung ano yung prines mo. And then, ilalabas niya sa monitor, which is letter A. Okay. So, yun yung machine-readable format, which is binary. Okay, ones and zero. Again, ha, input here is uh, refers to the feeding of raw data. You are, let's for example, you have your camera attached on your computer, and then nagcapture ka ng ng camera ano ah, ng image mo, and then yung image mo napunta sa loob ng computer, so that is input. All right. Next uh, basic function is the processing. It takes in or takes place in the processing unit. Asan yan? In the CPU or the central processing unit. Okay? It is here that raw data is transformed into meaningful information. Okay? Um, yung ibang term for the CPU is the brain or the heart of the computer. Kasi lahat ng ginagawa mo, okay, every single step uh, that you perform in your computer is done or being processed in the central processing unit of your computer. Okay? So, itong CPU na to, siya nagpa-process. Sabi yung natin kanina, uh, when you press, just for example, a letter, and then you are actually feeding binary numbers, one or zeros. Okay? And then, ipaprocess nga yung CPU, central processing unit, and then ilalabas niya sa may monitor mo. That is actually output. Okay? Now, itong CPU na to, Uh, kasi marami ang nagkakamali. Ano ba ang CPU? Nasaan ba ang CPU? So yung 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 box na nakikita natin, that is not actually your uh, CPU. That is your system unit. Kasi ang CPU nasa loob yan ng system unit. Maliit na chip, okay? Na ma makikita natin sa motherboard ng computer. So nandoon ang uh, small chip and then that is your CPU attached in your motherboard. Okay? So that is processing. It uh, takes place in the processing unit or CPU of your computer. Next uh, function is the output. This is the final stage in a computer operation. Process data are converted into a format understandable by people. Okay? So yung, yung, yung kanina, machine-readable format. Okay? Para maintindihan yung ng computer, machine-readable format yung uh, ini-input natin sa computer. Okay? Ngayon, ipaprocess naman ng computer para maintindihan niya and then ipaprocess niya ulit para maintindihan natin. Understandable by people. Okay? Nag-press ka ng letter A, prinasis niya para alam niya kung ano yung prinas mo and then prinasis niya ulit para maintindihan natin, dinisplay niya sa monitor, which is yung letter A ang dinisplay niya. Para maintindihan naman natin. Okay? So, that is the output. Nag-print ka. Nag-print ka using a printer. Lumabas doon sa printer. So, that is your output. Nag-play ka ng uh, sound or ng audio. Lumabas si speaker. That is actually output. Okay? Next is storage. A computer can store Uh, data or files. So, we will uh, discuss later on kung ano yung storage na yan. Saan ba nag-store ang data sa computer? Sa loob ba? Sa labas? O, oh, saan ba yan? Okay? So, you can store um, short term and then long term data. So, we will tackle that later on. Okay? So, again, Uh, we have here the four basic functions. You can input data or you can feed data in your computer. And then your computer may uh, process the data and then it will become output. 
and then aside from those uh, three functions, a computer can store huge amount of data. All right, next. Do you have any question? If you have questions, just feel free to um, uh, comment down, comment down, para nagblog lang, or uh, just send us a PM, or you may send message dun sa ating GC. All right. So we will uh, discuss the characteristics of a computer. Characteristics of a computer. It is a machine. Yes, it is a machine. Sino na dito ng uh, three idiots? O tas kamay. <laughs> De. Okay. Uh, sino yun? Wancho? Rancho? Okay. Ang sabi niya, ano yung definition niya sa machine? Yung mga nanood. O ba yung uh, example niya yung zipper? Para mapadali ang trabaho. Uh, lahat ng uh, devices na pinapadali niya ang trabaho natin, uh, it's being called as machine. Okay? You, uh, you, you, you want your job uh, para maging matapos agad-agad, gumamit ka ng machine. Okay? So, a computer is a machine. Another is, it is electronic. It composes of yung mga wires, uh, may mga uh, gumagamit niya ng kuryente. Oh, kaya electronic yan. It is automatic. Why automatic? Kasi hindi mo na kailangan sabihin pa kung anong gagawin niya. So when you press a letter, yun yung gagawin niya at bahala na siya. So it is automatic. Kapag nag-print, nag-print na siya. Hindi na ikaw yung magtuturo kung paano siya mag-print. Okay? It is automatic. It can manipulate data. It can manage, it can manipulate, it can convert data from the, uh, input to output. From data to information. Okay? Next is it can, or it has memory. So as stated uh, kanina, na it can process or it, uh, it has storage or it can store uh, data or files. So it has memory. It has logic functions. So your computer can also process uh, not only mathematical uh, calculations or functions, you 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, but then your computer can also um, process logic functions just for example or uh, it can also compare or and yan. Okay? So that is the logic functions. So these are the six characteristics of a computer system. Now, let's move on to the capabilities and limitations of computer. Uh, we will discuss first the uh, capabilities, yung kakayahan ng computer. Okay? First, uh, meron siyang speed. Mabilis yung computer. I will include uh, in your quiz the speed of the computer. So, that is your assignment. Al alamin nyo kung gaano kabilis ang computer. Okay? Uh, although a computer works on two state of electricity on and off, it processes data at high speed. This is one of the uh, important features of the computer. It can process data at high speed. Nag-press ka ng letter, nandyan na sa monitor mo, yung letter A. So, gaya na sinabi natin kanina, uh, nag-press ka, kinonvert pa niya into machine readable format and then kinonvert niya ulit into human readable format and then tsaka na di-display dyan sa computer mo. So, mabilis yan. Paano kaya kapag hindi mabilis ang computer? Wala siyang speed or hindi mabilis yung speed niya. Okay? Nag-press ka, antayin mo muna ng ilang segundo bago lumabas ang letter na prenes mo sa monitor. Oh. Sino ang gagamit ng computer niyan kung ganun ang speed? Okay? So, yung isang kakayahan ng computer, it can process data at a high speed. Next is accuracy. Accurate. The computer is not only fast, but it is also accurate. The computer does not do any mistake. If the wrong instruction or data are supplied, then the result produced by the computer is wrong. There is a term which describes accuracy of the computer and that term is GIGO. Okay, so this accuracy, let me say accuracy, accurate, your computer is accurate. Hindi gumagawa ng mali ang computer. Kung ano yung in-input mo sa kanya, yun din ang magiging output niya. You press letter A, letter A ang lalabas niya. Nag-play ka ng music, 
ang title niya ay ito. Um, ano ba? Um, wala akong maalala na title. O, yun yung title. And then, nung play mo, lumabas si speaker, yun na rin lang yung lumabas. Nag-play. Okay? Sorry, computer is accurate. Nag-print ka, and then kung anong print mo, page 1 to 5, page 1 to 5 din lang ang lumabas sa printer. Now, paano kung nag-print ka, pero mali yung print niya? Okay. Tama din lang. Yun yung word na gigo. Garbage in, garbage out. Again, that is garbage in, garbage out. When you instruct your computer, for example, mali yung instruct mo sa kanya, automatic, mali din lang yung ilalabas niya. Alimbawa, nag-press ka ng letter F, pero ang gusto mo sanang i-press ay letter G. Dahil magkalapit ang letter G at F, e eh mali din lang yung lumabas sa monitor. Nag-play ka ng music, ang gusto mo music ay let eto. Pero iba yung prenes mo, iba yung pinay mo. So, yun din lang lumabas. Nag-print ka ng 1 to 5, pero ang gusto mong i-print niya ay page 1 lang. Okay? Masunurin ng computer kasi nga accuracy, meron siya accuracy. Accurate, tama lahat ng ginagawa niya. Okay? So, print mo, 1 to 5. Pero ang gusto mo, page 1 lang. So, print niya pa din yung 1 to 5. So, that is garbage. Basurang pinasok mo sa computer, basura din lang ang lalabas. Okay? Paano yan? Uh, 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 I want to elaborate this, Gigo. Okay? Um... Gusto mo mag-print ng iyong biodata. Pero, yung inopen mo ay hindi biodata. Biodata ng kapatid mo, kumbaga. Now, nag-print ka. So, lumabas dun sa printer, biodata ng kapatid mo. Okay? So, parang garbage in, mali yung instruction mo sa computer, mali din lang yung kanyang output. Okay? So, that is the word or the term ego. Garbage in, garbage out. Your computer does not do any mistake. So, kung mayroon mang mali, it depends on your instruction. Okay? Next capability of computer is storage capacity. So, the computer can store huge amount of data and information for the current and future uses. For the current and future uses. So, your computer has memory, storage capacity, that uh, can store... Uh, huge amount of data. Next is diligence. Uh, your computer is diligent machine. Uh, it can perform the same task repeatedly without losing accuracy and speed. So, yung computer mo, kahit pa ulit-ulit yung pinapagawa mo sa kanya, diligent pa rin siya. Mading agri-resu na. Okay? Paano? Halimbawa, nag-print kayo ng, ng iyong biodata. Lumabas sa printer or yes, printer yung biodata. Okay, next, nag-print ka ulit ng biodata mo. Lumabas sa printer, biodata mo ulit. Kahit pa ulit-ulit yan, nag-print ka ng biodata mo, yun pa din yung ginagawa niya. Mading agriri. Unlike human, oh, na kung ano yung pinapagawa sa iyo, pa ulit-ulit, mabalin ka agriri, di ba? Okay? So, computer is diligence. Diligent machine. Okay? Another is, Computer is versatile. A computer can be used for doing different type of tasks. Oh. You can use your computer in video editing. You can use your computer in uh, word processing. You can do your computer in audio editing. You can use your computer in editing images. So it's versatile device. So pwede mong gamitin yan kahit anong gusto mong or less. Uh, hindi naman kahit ano. Okay? So, pwede mong magamit ang computer. You are watching movie while you are uh, encoding. While you are encoding and watching movie, you are downloading. So, your computer is versatile. So, you uh, it can do or it can perform different type of tasks. Okay? So, aside from uh, this A to E uh, capabilities, meron ding limitation ang computer. Meron din siyang kahinaan. So, ano ano yung kahinaan ng computer? So, I listed here five uh, limitations of computer. So, it is still dependent on the instructions and data given it uh, to it by a human being. So, your computer, uh, nakadepende pa rin yan 
kanino sa people wear sa tao na gumagamit ng computer so your computer can uh, cannot perform or yes uh, any step without your instruction okay first a computer cannot generate information on its own yes Hindi naman basta-basta magka-type ng letter A kung hindi ka magka-type ng letter A. Hindi naman basta-basta mag-print ng 1 to 5 kung hindi mo sinabi na print siya ng 1 to 5. So, yun yung isang kahinaan niya. A computer cannot generate information on its own. Ano kaya kung iniisip mo pa lang, iniisip mo pa lang yung, yung gagawin mo ay ginawa na ng computer. Diba? Ay sana yon. Kaya lang, yun yung kahinaan niya. Hindi niya pwedeng gawin yon. Okay? Number two, a computer cannot correct wrong instructions. As uh, yung, yung example natin kanina, you want to print 1 to 5, but then you only press number 1. Pero hindi naman kasi alam ng computer na gusto mo ang 1 to 5. So, hindi niya i-correct. Uy, mali. 1 to 5 dapat. Hindi niya sasabihin ganyan. Okay? A computer cannot correct wrong instructions. Whatever ins the instruction is uh, given by the user, yun na rin ang ipaprocess niya. A computer cannot come out with an original decision. Hindi siya basta-basta magde-decide na sa sarili niya, niya lang. Kailangan niya pa rin ng user. Kailangan niya tayo. Meron ngayon uh, artificial intelligence na yung computer pwede siya mag-decide. Uh, pero yun, meron pa rin input hindi, bas hindi basta basta mag-decide kung walang input okay, yung alimbawa, yung ano na lang ato, 80-80 ng globe magte-text ka hindi naman siya basta basta magre-reply ng ganito kung wala kang tinext okay so kailangan pa din ng input natin ng user so, nag-text ka, ball, balance, o data ball. Okay? So, yun yung nag-trigger sa kanya para makapag-produce ng output. So, nag-reply siya ng balance mo, or data balance. So, that is uh, the number, uh, on number three. Number four, a computer application must be quantified. It must be quantified. Dapat, ibigay mo lahat bago siya mag-decide. Just for example, in a uh, singing contest, Hindi niya basta-basta, oh, let's say computerize ito, computerize, ang tawag dito, oh, computerize lahat ng ano, yung, yung uh, pagpili ng kung sino mananalo. Now, for example, we have five uh, category or criteria dun sa singing contest na yan. Hanggat hindi mo pa uh, ini-input yung lahat ng five uh, scores doon sa 5 uh, criteria, hindi pa niya sasabihin kung sino ang mananalo sa contest na yun. Kailang ibigay mo lahat bago niya may bigay kung sino mananalo. So, a computer application must be quantified. Kailang ibigay mo lahat bago siya mag-decide, bago, bago niya ibigay kung ano yung maging output niya. So, yun yung isang kahinaan ng computer. Hindi siya basta-basta nagmamagic. Okay? A computer is vulnerable to virus attack. Hindi lang tao ng virus, COVID. Ang computer din, na-attack din yan ng virus. So, paano tong virus na to? Just for example, when you are connected in the internet, okay, now, kung, ano, kung alimbawa, kung ano-ano yung dinadownload mo doon, you are actually, alimbawa, yung dinownload mo ay merong naka-attach na virus or malware, so you are actually downloading the malware. Once you, 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 your, the files being downloaded are stored in your computer, yun na, dun na kumakalat yung virus. So, it is advisable that you, okay, we will discuss uh, that later on, yung antivirus. Dapat meron tayong antivirus, kung meron tayong anti-COVID, which is the uh, vaccine, so meron din tayong antivirus sa computer. So, kailangan din natin ng antivirus yung computer mo. Kailangan na din, na, din niya ng antivirus para maharangan yung virus na umatake sa ating files. Okay? So, pwede nilang nakawin ang files mo hindi lang sa totoong buhay, yung real world na ransom. Nakawin nilang tao or 
tao, nakawin nila or kidnap and then hingi sila ng ransom para ibalik yung anak mo para yung tao. Okay? Dito rin lang sa computer. Meron din tayong ransomware. We're in the hackers will get or lock your files and then they will only uh, return your files in exchange sa pera. Okay? That is a ransomware. Considered as a uh, malware, a virus. Okay? So, those are the limitations of computer or a computer system. So, meron siyang kahinaan. Okay. We will move on to the elements of a computer system. Elements. A computer has this. Hardware, software, peopleware. Oh, tato lang ha. Hardware, software, peopleware. Oh, the topperware dita. It's got underwear. Okay, first, hardware. These are the tangible parts of a computer system. It is refers to the physical components of a computer that you can actually touch. Lahat na nahawakan mo kapag naka, nasa harap ka ng computer, considered as hardware. You are uh, holding your mouse, your mouse is considered as hardware. Nagtatype ka sa keyboard, uh, I mean yung keyboard han na yung physical. Kasi meron tayong touch o uh, yung on-screen keyboard. Oh. When you are typing using your keyboard, your keyboard is uh, considered as hardware. Yung printer, nahawakan mo yung printer, hardware. Monitor, nahawakan mo monitor, hardware. Camera, hardware. Lahat na nahawakan mo, hardware. Wag kong, wala akong sinabing hawakan yung katabi mo. Hindi yan hardware. Okay. Number two, software. Kung meron tayong tangible part, meron din naman tayong tangible part. Sa so software, these are the non-tangible parts of the computer that tells the computer how to do its job. Or, these are set of instructions used to direct the hardware on how to turn data into useful information for people to use. Referred to as a computer program. Software. Halimbawa, one software here is uh, your operating system. Ang operating system, halimbawa niyan, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows XP, iOS, so cell phone, and then Android, so cell phone, those are your operating systems. Now, kung walang operating system ang, ang, ang computer, hindi alam ng computer kung paano gawin ang trabaho niya. Kasi sa operating system na yon, nandun yung mga instructions kung paano ang ganyan, paano ang ganito, how to do its job. Kung walang operating system ang computer, inattach mo sa kanya ang camera, hindi niya mara-recognize the na camera yung inattach mo sa kanya. So with the use or with the help of your operating system, kapag inattach mo yung camera, okay, alam niya, okay, imaging device ito, camera ito. Kaya dapat, ito gamit nito, uh, gamit ito for capturing images. Inattach mo yung speaker sa computer mo, malalaman niya, okay, meron ito, uh, merong inattach dito sa computer which is speaker so dapat ito ang gagawin ng speaker pag nagplay sila ng music lalabas si speaker so yun yung software uh, ini-instruct niya yung hardware kung paano mag uh, baano niya i-perform yung task o, merong keyboard ang, ang computer mo now kapag walang software hindi niya alam na or hindi alam ng keyboard kung paano siya mag-perform, kung paano siya mag, uh, paano niya gawin yung trabaho niya. Okay? So, with the use of your hard or software, okay, um, alam na ng computer kung ano yung mga parts, ano yung function ng bawat parts ng computer. Next, we have here the peopleware. Uh, referred lang naman dito, uh, referred ito sa mga tao, tayo, na gumagamit ng computer system. So, hardware, software, and peopleware. Next, we will discuss the different classifications of hardware. 
Uh, under hardware, we have here input devices, output devices, and storage. Naklassify din ang mga to, hardware. Input devices, output devices, and storage. So any machine or device that fits data into computer is called input devices. A hardware device that sends information to computer. Lahat ng uh, tangible parts that is used to feed data to your computer is called input devices. Okay? Example, keyboard. Yeah. A set of typewriter-like keys. Kung, me, kung nakita nyo ang typewriter, pareho sila ng key. Yeah. So that is a keyboard. And then, mouse. Uh, we will not discuss this one by one. Kasi for sure, uh, during your high school, senior high school, you or they have uh, already introduced this parts or elements of computer system. Next is, we have here mouse. A pointing device used to direct your or the cursor of your computer. Mouse, meron tayong uh, types of mouse, mechanical, optomechanical, optical, trackball. Okay. Mechanical, um, halos wala nang gumagamit nito. So, kapag nakita nyo sa baba ng mouse nyo at merong bola, yun yung bola, nagmumove yan. Okay? Dun sa surface, dun sa table, nagmumove yung ball, and then nagmumove din lang yung cursor mo, mechanical yung mouse na yan. Okay? Optical naman. Optical, kapag laser ang ginagamit ng mouse to move or to, to, to detect the surface, yung la less, lesser. Yung laser na yan, nadetect niya yung surface or yung table, okay? Depende na sa, sa galaw ng mouse or sa galaw ng laser na yan, nagmo-move naman yung pointer mo sa uh, monitor. So, optical. Yung mechanical, it uses ball. Or, yes, na nagro-roll dun, uh, dun sa loob. Next is optomechanical. Kumbaga, pinagsama ang mechanical at optical. Optomechanical. So, merong, merong itong ball na yung, yung laser at meron din siyang laser. And then, yung laser, iniilawan niya yung bola. Kung paano yung movement ng ball, yun din lang yung movement ng cursor. And then, track ball, ito, uh, parang sa mechanical din, kaya lang, yung bola mismo ang minumove mo. Hinahawakan yung bola, yun yung, yung binumove mo, and then, dun na nagbe-base yung movement ng mouse. Okay? That is track ball. Another is joystick. Uh, to those who are fun with a computer games, yung ano yun, yung contra, uh, ano ba, ba yung mga games natin? So yung ikaw mismo ito, meron siyang parang ano, uh, stick na yun yung pinapay natin, yun yung minimum move natin. Up, down, or come view. So that's the joystick, considered as a pointing device. Trackpad. Yung nasa computer mo ay sa laptop mo. Uh, wag ka maghanap ng mouse kasi nandiyan na mismo. So pwede mong gamitin yung trackpad sa yung laptop. And then your your Bluetooth mouse. Okay, uh we your yung connection lang naman nito. So yung connection, meron kang i-attach ito, i-attach dun sa computer plus yung mouse mo, yung connection niya Bluetooth. Okay? Next, uh input device is touch screen. Touch screen. Uh, it is a display screen that allows users to interact with the system by touching specific area on the screen. So, your touch screen is considered as input device. Kasi pag nag-input ka, pag nag-click ka, dun sa, nag-touch ka dun sa screen, nag-input siya ng data. Nag-press ka ng OK, yung OK na press mo, na-input sa computer. Light pen, okay, ito meron siyang light na iniilawan niya yung part kung ano yung pinapoint mo dun sa uh, machine or dun sa uh, screen. Then, yun na. Nag-input na siya ng data. Graphic tablets, ito, um, kung gusto mong mag-sketch uh, or graph, do any graphic, uh, uh, 
sketching or mag-drawing, you may use graphic tablet. And then computer scanner, ito, um, in-scan niya, kina-capture niya yung image, kung ano yung malinagay mo sa scanner niya, and then kino-convert niya into digital form. And then, kumbaga, limbawa, meron kang picture, linagay mo sa scanner, in-scan mo, yung picture mo, kinapture ng scanner, and then pumasok na sa computer. So, digital form. Then, barcode scanner, it captures the barcode, including QR code, 3D, 3, 2D, yan. And then, so ito, uh, uh, meron lang siyang zebra strip, yung barcode yan, uh, yun yung kinakapture niya, yun yung binabasa niya, yung mga ganito. And then, binabasa niya kung ano meron sa loob ng naka-encrypt sa barcode na yon and then ilalabas na sa computer. So, feeding of feeding raw data, data to, to your computer. So, barcode is considered as input device. Fax machine, okay, considered as input. Paano nag-work itong fax machine na to? Halimbawa, meron akong letter dito, naka-print. And then, gusto kong iparating sa kanila kung anong nilalaman ng letter. So, I will press the fax machine number dun sa, halimbawa, sa Manila. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, ilagay ko ngayon yung uh, nakaprint, yung, yung letter. And then, i-press ko yung send. Magsasend sa kabila dun sa Manila. Lalabas doon, ipiprint niya yung kung ano yung nabasa niya dun sa letter. And then, parang, parang binigay mo na rin lang yung letter sa kanila. So, gumamit ka lang ng fax machine dito, then prenes mo yung number kung saan mag-send, and then lalabas doon sa machine nila, fax machine nila, yung letter mismo. Okay? Next is microphone, a device for converting sounds into signals, or from audio, or sounds to audio. So, your microphone captures sounds from the surroundings and convert it to a digital form, which is audio. And then, kapag na audio na yan, nasa loob na ng computer. So, you can manipulate your audio. You can edit. You can remove some. You can delete some. Or you can, uh, um, tawag dito, enhance your audio. Next is digital camera. Your camera. So, it captures the real world. Yung camera natin, ikakapture na yung real world, kung ano nakikita niya sa real world. And it converts that image into digital form para pwede mong i-view sa computer. So, that is your digital camera. So, these uh, devices are considered input device kasi ginagamit natin ang mga to to input data inside the computer. And, these are considered as hardware kasi nahawakan naman natin ang mga to. Okay? Another Uh, subcategory of hardware is output devices. An output device is any machine capable of representing information from a computer. Okay? Ito ginagamit natin to display information. Yung input mo, prinas ng computer, ilalabas niya naman sa output. So, ano-ano yung mga different types or kinds of output devices? So, if you're your monitor, Nag-press ka ng letter A, lumabas sa monitor. So, your monitor is considered as your output device. And then, nahawakan mo yung monitor, considered as hardware. Printer. Nag-print ka, lumabas sa printer, considered as output device. Meron kang picture, print mo, lumabas sa printer ang picture mo. So, output device. Platter. Uh, printer yun ito, kaya lang ang platter, ito yung ginagamit nila to print high quality drawings. That's for example, tarpaulins. Ito yung ginagamit nila sa tarpaulin, ah, tarpaulin, tarpaulin printing shop. Pag nag-print sila ng tarpaulin, itong platter ang, ang nagagamit. And then speaker, considered as output, uh, mag-play ka ng sound, audio, I mean, and then lumabas yung sound niya sa computer. So, meron tayong uh, term, ha? Uh, audio and sound. Ang audio, oh, ito muna, sound muna. Ito naririnig nyo, uh, itong ginagawa ko ngayon, sound, ito. Okay? Kasi hindi pa pumapasok sa computer, kumbaga. Now, 
may uh, microphone capture this sound na narinig niya sa surroundings and then i-convert ngayon ng computer from analog to digital. So yung sound i-convert niya into a digital form which is to audio. Okay? Magiging audio na to kasi pag pumasok na sa computer magiging audio. And then kapag play mo sa computer, uh, play mo and then lumabas si speaker, lalabas ng si speaker, magiging sounds no len. Okay? So we have two terms, sounds and audio. Audio, the digital form, sounds, analog form. Analog form kung ano naririnig niyo sa surroundings, sounds ang mga 'yan. Kapag nandoon na sa computer mismo, audio ang tawag diyan. All right? So These are considered as an output devices, okay? Output devices, kasi dito lumalabas yung output natin, and then considered as hardware, kasi nahawakan natin ang mga yan, okay? So we will continue our discussion later on. So for the meantime, ito mo na hanggang output device. So again, we have discussed the different Uh, hardware or input and then output device and then the elements of computer system we also discuss the limitations and then the capabilities of computer and then the characteristics and the four basic functions okay so see you again on our next lecture but then if you have any questions or queries regarding this uh, discussion, feel free to um, send a message dun sa GC natin or uh, mag-PM sa akin. But before you PM, again, make sure na nabasa mo kung ano yung mga information na nandun sa GC natin. Baka nandun yung sagot sa question mo. Okay? So, yun muna for now. Paalam!